Hello everyone and welcome. I am Mr. Warren Hayes on behalf of Pro Wrestling Illustrated and Bell to Bells collaborating today to bring you this interview that we have lined up. And of course, it, you know, if we're combining our forces, PWI and Bell to Bells, it's only to bring you the best and the brightest. And of course, that automatically means we have to be talking to Hayan, who is with us today. How are you, <laughs> Hayan? Good to see you. That's like an amazing introduction. I'm really good. It's so nice to talk to you again. Yes, it's nice to talk to you as well. We had a chance to speak last year with the uh, top 100 women's uh, list that you uh, you were there at number 71. Um, and it's interesting because, you know, we're a year later, right? And, mm -hmm. uh, and um, you know, last year we were in the midst of COVID and we were chit-chatting. And, and you were telling me last year, you know, one of my goals is to go work in Europe. Yeah. And as we're recording this right now at uh, you know at the onset of the month of August, you're you're in England right now. I am. You got to manifest it. Yeah, ex absolutely. Ex you put it out there and then a year later there you are, but I mean I, I got to ask you how how did you do it? <laughs> how did you like <laughs> physically like how did how was that process? How was the process to get overseas? It's so like crazy how it all happened. So I had just like truly manifested it like I posted on Twitter like I want to wrestle in the UK I want to wrestle in Europe like that's I, that was the tweet and I didn't like think anything of it I just put it out there mm -hmm. and um I got dm'd by ref pro being like do you really want to go to the Europe and I was like yeah like I 100% meant that and they're like cool like we're looking for girls like you know we think you know you'd be a good fit and um they were like we want to bring you in, um, but the COVID situation here is so unknown. Sure. Um, it's not fully opened yet. So it's a yes, but just hold on. And I was like, okay. So I would go on like maybe a month or so. I wouldn't hear anything. They'd message me back and they're like, yeah, we're like, we didn't forget about you. You know, we just still getting the COVID stuff figured out. And it, it sucked because they kept getting like their opening date, like pushed back and pushed sure. back and pushed back. Um, and it wasn't finally until the end of July that um, I was finally able to come over here um, and I actually had to quarantine. Actually, today's my last day of quarantine. I was going to ask. Okay. Today's so, your last day of quarantine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm free tomorrow. <laughs> and um, I had to come in and um, two days prior do a COVID test and fill out all these forms. I got here, I had to do another COVID test. Several days later, do another COVID test. I just took my last COVID test a couple of days ago. Um, and so, yeah, it's been very crazy, like having to go through all the regulations of going to another country during the pandemic. It sounds like quite a process indeed. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And tests on top of tests. Yeah, it seems very, it seems thorough though. But it, yeah. at least, but at least, like like you said, now quarantine is lifting, right? For you, anyway. Yes. Yeah, okay, yes. And it's so funny because if I would have come here on Monday, so today, I wouldn't have had to quarantine. They just cleared the U.S., like took it off the Amber list. Oh. But because it came a week ago, I had to quarantine. You had to. Okay. All right. And mm -hmm. and this is your first time, right, in England? Yeah. It's your first time yeah. in Europe at all. Yeah, like in Europe ever. I never, I've never like been here on like vacation or anything. So, uh, so you haven't done your appearances. Uh, help me out here. Have you done your appearances for Rev Pro yet? Or I did. I okay. did. I did. My first show was this last Saturday. There was okay. two shows on Saturday and then one yesterday. Can I ask you how that works if you're in quarantine though? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I'm, you know maybe like there was some good questions. I just don't have the answer. <laughs> they were like, oh, no, it's cool. You can come in. Everything was fine. And yeah, I think it's because I actually took a test right before I left to do the show. Oh, okay. And then the day that I, um, the day of the show, it came back negative. So uh, I, th I think that's why I got the all clear. Okay. So they were like, oh, it's fine. You got your test. So you were able to go regardless. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's UK good. government. I wasn't being sneaky. <laughs> no, no, okay. There we go. So we're all clear. Everything's above board. Yeah, yes, we're, yes. we're we're not burying anyone here. Correct. Um, okay, so you so you did do your two appearances, right? Uh, Mariah May, who's yes. who's zero and two against you. That'll show her. 
Uh, that's fantastic. So we've already done two appearances there. And again, if I'm going back to when we were talking last year, you know, you said that, you know, you'd like to work for WXW in Germany. Um, you know, I know our friends over at uh, at Pro Wrestling Eve, they're starting their activities back up. They've got the Queendom show coming up in a couple of weeks now. Okay. Have you got anything else lined up for uh, for your European tour? Yeah, so I'm actually debuting for this company called Purpose here um, in the UK. It's a newer company. It's starting up, I believe, the show's August 13th. Okay. And I have been talking to Pro Wrestling Eve to like get some dates. Um, as well as uh, some other ones, but I don't want to spoil anything because it's not official yet. Okay, but you guys will know. Okay, well, yeah, we we wouldn't, yeah, we wouldn't want to cause a situation where you couldn't get the dates. Then, of course. Oh, yes, of course. But it's a, good, good to hear you're talking with uh, with uh, the folks at Eve. That's fantastic too. I think it's a good and natural fit as yeah. well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they're like the premier women's, no. like all women's company here. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And I'm excited that they're getting back into the swing of things, too. Um, let's talk a little more about uh, about Rev Pro uh, and what you're doing for them. You were in the you were uh, in the um, the Queen of the Ring tournament, mm -hmm. right? Um, and, you know, it features some of, you know, some of the most active indie uh, women stars out there. Very and top notch as well. Giselle Shaw, Sky Snitson. Um, we've also have, uh, Zoe Lucas there as well. Yeah. Uh, which wrestlers in this tournament were you excited? Were you looking forward to, to face? Well, I, I was obviously really excited to wrestle everybody because it was all going to be first time matchups, right? Oh, all, um, everyone, no one had ever, there had never been anyone like on a tour of North America that you'd got to meet. Um, I knew Zoe from like Shimmer, like we've we've done shows together, but we've never like had a wrestling match together. Right, that makes sense. And you um, you fought her in the finals, right? I did, I did. That was our first time together. And she um, and she got the best of you because you know she's a cheater. Yeah, we, we 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 don't like Zoe Lucas. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, but but so so all fresh matches. Um, was there anyone that you particularly that you enjoyed wrestling, like just out of yes. the blue that you were like, yeah, this was a lot of fun? Yeah, so I actually did. I ended up doing three matches in one day, which is like the most I've ever done. I was so beat up on Sunday, and my first round match was against um, Mariah May, and then my second round match was against Giselle Shaw, mm -hmm. and that was. I would definitely say that's like my favorite match of like my career thus far. Really? Yeah. Like it was, it definitely number one on like my 2021 matches. And I would definitely put that up there as like my favorite match of my career. Like as soon as it was done, I like went up to the promoter. I was like, can I get the footage of this match? Like, when can I get it? <laughs> <laughs> this one goes on my reel, right? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah like absolutely. automatically. This is the match that we sent to promoters. <laughs> Oh, well, Giselle fan is fantastic as well. So yeah, I, I, I'm not surprised that you that, that you guys were able to work something something's that high level. I guess. Yeah, no, she's amazing, and I feel like she doesn't get enough credit about how like amazing she is. I knew she was great um, being in the states, but obviously, when you wrestle someone, it's you know you really get to see their talent, and she's incredibly, incredibly talented. Let's say outside outside of Rev Pro, you know, like you said, you're going on tour a little bit. Is there anyone out there, like on the on the European circuit, that you'd like to face? There are a lot of people, a lot of girls on the scene. I did want to. I would love to get in the ring with Chikara. She's uh, yeah. very very talented as well, and I I was talking to her because um, she was in the Queen of the Ring tournament as well, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh yeah, I know you. You're on the PWI 500 list, and she was like, oh yeah, like, and I we're just chit chatting back and forth and i would love to get into the ring with her as well absolutely absolutely um well since we're talking about these pwi lists you know again you were you were on the women's list last year so uh it can certainly be said that we can expect you to be back on that list this year i, I mean so. i you know i think you know if you know i think the vegas odds are very good in your favor <laughs> um, but, but let's cover a, a bit of the ground that you've made since last year like first first and foremost you're still Heart of Shimmer champion, right? Uh, how does it feel to be holding that title uh, for so long at this point? It is a dream come true, honestly, because 
prior to being on Shimmer, my sole goal mm-hmm. was to get on Shimmer. And I like that was just the pinnacle for me. I never really thought about like, okay, I'm going to get the title. I want to be on the flyers. Like I was just genuinely so happy to be there. And every time there was a Shimmer weekend coming, I was preparing. I all all of my best matches have been at Shimmer. And that company is just so has always been so important to me and has like a special place in my heart mm-hmm. that being the heart of Shimmer Champion like it is something that I take very I take a lot of pride in. Right. And and I want that title to be um I want to elevate it as as much as possible cuz it is like the newer title, right? Sure. Um compared to like the OG Shimmer title. So I want to make it prestigious. I want to carry it well and I want it I want people to line up to try to get it from me, you know? And, and you know, we'll, we'll all be winners in that type of circumstance, of course. But yeah, no, it's yeah. that's great. And you also, well, I mean, on the flip side, you know, you've held the Sabotage World mm-hmm. Championship, like forever, right? Like it's... Yes, forever. <laughs> but Delilah Doom got it off of you, mm-hmm. you know? You know, every all good things come to an end. But do you think maybe at some point circling back around to try and get your hands back on the title? Of course. I think uh, Sabotage was one of the very first companies outside of reality of wrestling to really get behind me. Mm-hmm. Um, and they pushed me. They gave me so many amazing matches, so many incredible opponents. Um, and that kind of comes with being the champion. You know, you have to get the best of the best. Mm-hmm. And I would love to be champion again because I want to keep getting the best of the best and proving why I deserve and have that spot. You know, and you you know you you mentioned the reality of wrestling, and that you know there's more and more opportunities right now that are opening mm-hmm. up for women's wrestling you know there's a lot of stuff going on you know between mlw announcing their division mm-hmm. stuff happening in nwa um and you know a lot of opportunities still opening up at ring of honor that as well that you that you were able to uh that you were able to take part of um how how was appearing at on uh ring of honors uh women's division wednesdays for you Do, can we expect to see you more there i don't know it's, I'll be back. I'll be here for um, in the UK for a while, so you might not see me on there for a while. But it was a lot of fun being there, especially because I got to do it with my best friends, like Lainey Luck, somebody that you know mm-hmm. I would like trust her a thousand percent, and Roxy, another one of my really really good friends. So it was cool to be on that bigger platform and being able to share it with people that are so important to me too. Well, I mean, you mentioned those, but you've, you wrestled Max the Impaler, uh, I, I think did. twice, right? Um, um yeah. Once she in a tag team and tag. once in a singles, right? Yes. Um, I, I mean, that's gotta be intimidating to wrestle them, right? I'm, I, I can't be wrong about that, right? The Renaissance woman does not get intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I, couldn't have come up. Perfect answer. Perfect answer. Um, you uh, you even ended up winning the uh, number one contendership for the uh, Zello Pro title as well, which you, I you, did. you couldn't. Yeah, you couldn't go for. You had some other person fill in for you. I don't know. Name so, slips in my mind. I, I think it's Chelsea Green. I, I think. think. Yeah, I think so. Up and comer, right? An upstart. Yeah, yeah, that rookie. You know. <laughs> Um, are there, are there any titles that you have, like your, your site set on it? You're like, Hey, this is one I'd really like to compete for. I want to go for actively. The AAW women's title. Really? That is, that is one, like I, every year I make a set of goals for myself, Mm -hmm. uh, for wrestling, which ones I want to go after. And 2020, 2021, the AAW getting that title has been on that list. For two years now. And and, and, I, and it's Allison Kay who has it right now, if I'm not mistaken, right? Correct. And I I also hold that title in very high regard because you look at the women that have held it, you know, Jessica Havoc, Kimberly, Kylie Ray, you know, Statlander, all these incredibly, incredibly talented women. That show is always, always stacked with amazing, amazing talent. So to be able to be one of the women to hold it 
Um, I think it's very, very cool. And I got my title shot with uh, Chris. I was not successful, but that mm-hmm. doesn't mean I'm not going to go for it again, you know? Sure, sure. No. Yeah, well, well, yeah. I, I guess we can tell. We can tell Allison. It's like, well, you know, enjoy the title while you have it. Yeah. While you're overseas, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. And she's getting. She's getting like an easy pass as champion right now because, like, I'm not there. <laughs> I love this attitude. It's working for me. We got. We're, <laughs> we're get. We're get. We're getting. We're getting. We're getting some challenges set out here. Um, and then even just before you left in June. Uh, you, uh, you popped up on AW Dark, uh, I you did. wrestled Abaddon. How was it to, to, to wrestle on, like, I know you've had, you know, WWE tryouts before and so on and so mm-hmm. forth. How different was, was AW to any other television experience, television taping experience you have had? I feel like, um, like if you go backstage with WWE, there's almost kind of this sense of like pressure, I guess, because you feel like you have to be on your, like best, best, best behavior. You know, you're like, I just Mm -hmm. want to stay out of the way. I'm just happy to be here type of thing, whatever. And over there, it's a lot more, I guess, warm. Okay. Because it's like, you don't have that cold feeling because it's like, Statlander, I just wrestled you two weeks ago. How you doing? You know? Right, right, right. I'm Ricky, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a little bit. You know, one of my best buddies. So it's a different kind of environment for sure. But it's a lot of fun because I've never wrestled Amazon before. Um, and it was cool cause I got to, you know, do a match and then Dustin got to see it. So it, it helps, you know, with networking and getting sure. more people to see what you can do. Sure. Absolutely. It's in that, and I, I don't think, well, I think a lot of fans don't realize how important that component is to, mm-hmm. to, to pro wrestling and getting into the, you know, moving up, getting into the good shows, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Do you feel you're pretty good at it? I feel like I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> I think <laughs> so too. Helps too, because you know AEW Dark, like it, it's available to the UK fans. So now the UK fans had an opportunity to see me, maybe in a different place. Maybe they maybe they haven't seen me in Shimmer. Maybe they haven't seen me at Rome. Sure. But if they watch AEW and follow AEW Dark, well, they go, "Hey, I've seen that girl before." You know, she's not a complete stranger to me. You know, so that absolutely. definitely helps too. Yeah, it it's absolutely. Think of these things. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> what's that? As it's all strategic. It's all strategic. Exactly. Exactly. You're playing. Every, I'm playing checkers. You're playing chess. Let's be honest. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the thing. Uh, Hayan, it's always, uh, a great time to talk to you, uh, talk with you, not to you. I don't <laughs> talk to you. You, 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 we chat. Uh, but, uh, before we, we wrap it up, um, you know, you're going to be spending, how much time are you spending in the UK? Two months. So my last show is actually on my birthday oh. on September 19th. And it's going to be in the big York Hall venue in London that holds like 1,500 people. So that's going to be my last show here. So I'm super, super excited. Oh, that'll be great. And do you have some stuff lined up for when you come back to North America then? I do. I know Shimmer is planning to run on um, for their fall show. Mm-hmm. So... You can expect that date to be announced soon. Oh, and fun. I do have some a um, uh, show with Reality of Wrestling again, as well as AAW. Um, but I will be honest, I am kind of like limiting how many shows I'm taking because I am getting married in November. Wow. So, okay. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. So I still have to like go back and then start like wedding planning, <laughs> like insane <laughs> amount, get my uh, wedding dress fitted. So I've had some companies be like, Hey, we want to use you. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I have to get ready for this beatball <laughs> wedding that I have to do when I get back. I have to go taste wedding cake. Sorry. I can't, you yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I got to spend time with my fiance. I haven't seen him in two months. <laughs> yeah, on top of that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Well, congratulations. Then that'll be, that, that'll definitely, definitely be your highlight of the fall right there, regardless, yeah, of, of, regardless of everything else. Well, it's fantastic. Before we wrap it up, just let everyone know where they can find you, where they can buy your merch. Just yes. drop everything you can. And of course, all these links will be available in the description of this video as well. Um, my merch store with What a Maneuver is in my bio and my Instagram page, which is at the Hyan. So T H E H Y A N on Instagram. My pinned tweet as well on Twitter, which is at underscore the Hyan. 
Um, I will be here at Rev Pro. Um, check their Twitter page. We do have their own streaming service. So make sure and watch all my matches and definitely watch my match with Giselle because it is one of my like absolute favorites. Uh, well, hi. We're, we're definitely going to check it out. You and Giselle are two wrestlers that we really like. Thank you so much, Hyann. Hyann, this entire interview has been holding her telephone, her her <laughs> phone at you know, at, her, at, you know, with her arms fully extended, and she hasn't collapsed yet. This is the the difference between a pro athlete and myself. I'd be like this at this point, sweating. I just have a, a sick bicep thing going on right now. You, can, you just can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Hyann, for for joining us today. I really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule. And uh, hope you have a great European tour. Thank you so much. You have such a great day. Thank you very much. And thank you, everyone, for joining us here, whether it's on PWI's YouTube channel or Bell to Bells. Subscribe, like. You guys know the drill. I'm Mr. Warren Hayes. We'll see you next time.